Europe's premier research lab, CERN, is celebrating its 60th birthday and the foundation of an establishment that in many ways drew up the blueprint for European cooperation. CERN's list of successes goes from inventing touchscreens, medical imaging and the internet to the more esoteric pure physics most people normally associate with CERN and its few arrays of particle accelerators and colliders. Your Royal Highness, Your General Director Rolf Hoer began the ceremonies under the banner 60 Years of Science for Peace and then followed music composed specially for the occasion by a CERN scientist interpreting the recorded data from the LHC Higgs boson experiments. It's amazing to see how scientists and engineers from countries which are normally not at ease with each other can work together, can speak with each other, can celebrate with each other. And I think that should be a model for everybody. But with the Higgs boson all but nailed, where next for CERN? What are its future fields of study? With the famous Higgs boson, we have just closed our standard model which merely describes 5% of the universe. 95% of the universe are dark, dark matter, dark energy. To my mind, it's high time to enter into the dark universe, and that would be one of the major goals for the near future. For the past 60 years, CERN has not only revolutionized our scientific knowledge, but it's also created successful models of coexistence between different cultures and goal-sharing. Claudio Rosmino.